Okay. Good morning, people. Did y'all sleep well? It's very warm. And unfortunately, the air smells of desperation because my family has lost it. So, Kathy made two posts last night that were meant to intimidate me, scare me. The first, I'll post both of them here, but first she says that she's going to try to pay to have my younger brother's body moved away from my parents and over to Georgia where she lives, which you think that's a threat, but he's buried next to the man that crippled him. Even being next to your shitty family would be better than being next to the man that crippled him. So you go ahead and do that. That would be a favor to your nephew. The second threat is that she's going to contact Kenneth and they're going to become friends. They already did that. This was like five years ago. The, the, that was the first thing they tried to do to silence me. The first thing. They contacted the man that I put in prison. And for weeks they told me, oh, he knows everything. We sent him updated pictures about you. We sent him your current address and email so that when he gets out, he knows how to contact you. We sent him everything about you. And he's going to write us back. And he's going to tell us that you committed the murder. And then you're going to go to prison. And do y'all know what happened? Nobody ever responded. Either they confiscated the letter at the prison, or Kenneth decided that he just didn't want to be pen pals with these motherfuckers, or they just never, you know, for whatever reason, that doesn't work. But every couple of years when they get upset with me and they want to bring me down, they threaten to start contacting Kenneth. And they threaten that what he says in those letters is going to put me in prison. And what they don't understand is that he already lied to the police. When the investigation was happening, he told the police a whole bunch of bullshit. And I told the police the truth. And that's going to mean something if he actually does write back and, like, writes back a whole bunch of bullshit. They're not just going to arrest me based on that. He's already lied a whole bunch. And they already found all of the evidence to prove he was lying. And he confessed to it in court. Literally, the jury had gone and given him a death sentence. And he approached the judge and he confessed. And the judge gave him mercy and gave him life in prison. His confession is the reason he's not dead right now. Why would he write to some strangers online and then recall that confession, but not put an actual... Um, What's it called when you don't want to be charged and you want to, like, you've been charged and you want to have it redone? I know it's a thing. I can't, I think it starts with an A. I can't think of the word, but he's never filed for one of those. So, but this is the second time they've done this and they're doing it for the exact same reason that they held fundraisers to desecrate my brother's grave because they're trying to upset me. They're trying to trigger me into having a breakdown so that I will end my life. They've been doing this repeatedly for five years. This is their cycle. They attack Bubba's grave. They contact Kenneth in prison. They threaten. They intimidate. They cycle. And it keeps going around. This is my family doing this. I have told y'all so many times, my family is abusive and I've been speaking out about the abuse. When your maternal aunt is contacting people you put in prison and befriending them and threatening you with that friendship, that is an abusive family member. That is an abusive person that you do not want in your life in any capacity. Just... Be fully aware of who you're befriending in an attempt to put somebody else down. Because you might not like how it makes you look when you become friends with that person. But have fun with that. I'm frustrated. 
that this is not ever ending. But I'm going to keep documenting it and letting people know because this is bullshit. It's absolute bullshit. And one day it's it's going to be more seen and people are going to see and understand the fucking bullshit that I've been through for five years. Anyways, um, it's hot as fuck, so I'm not going out today. Me and friend are going to play some more Brutal Mario. We're going to lower the quality <laughs> so that it doesn't completely freeze up on us. And we are going to try again to get those uh, levels that we did yesterday filmed because obviously yesterday's video was complete shit. It was, com it was all corrupted because I tried to have my quality up too far and... My phone couldn't handle it. I was trying to do too much at once with recording and having the Bluetooth controller and having the game running. It might do it if I just don't have my face on. Like, I can uh, so I can put a picture of friend over on the other side. Um, and then I can have the game quality be a bit higher. But I'm still working out the uh, mechanics for my recording session for Brutal Mario because this is a long game. We're only half an hour into a nine hour game, so I need to get these settings right before we really dive into it. <laughs> 